أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة وحلقة مميزة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال. مثل ما عودناكم في كل حلقة نستضيف كفاءة جديدة ومن زاوية سبيشال بزنس وومن بليز ويلكم مس ريت ويكا. نايس تو ميت يو مام. فيري نايس تو ميت يو. ثانك يو. بليز تيل مي أباوت يور سيلف. ماي نيم إز ريتيكا تشاوثري أند أم ذا فاوندر ديريكتور أوف باليت أر تريننج أند كونسلتنسي. which is a Dubai-based uh, art training and consultancy firm. And we have been here for uh, this company is running for the last seven years. This Mashallah. is the eighth year. Yeah. Um, we are here to teach out. <laughs> okay, well, uh, why this business started in UAE? And did you have any branch outside the country? Uh, I don't have any branch outside the country. This is the only branch in UAE. And uh, we started because uh, of a very personal reason. You know, my daughter was going for a college admission, and she wanted to do her portfolio in art and design. And I was not getting anybody else to help uh, for a professional help. So that's how I thought, why not set up something where you can have you know somebody helping all the senior students to do their art and uh, design, architecture and fashion and all those portfolios. So that's how the whole idea of this business came and it, it was around the same time I finished my MBA and I was uh, looking for something to build up my own and mm -hmm. art is my passion and throughout my life I did art along with my journalistic career. I was a journalist for 18 years uh -huh. and, but I thought it's time to build something of my own. So that's how the whole idea of palette art training and consultancy came. There was a little bit of gap in the market of serious learning of art. Mm -hmm. What we get here is more of workshops and um, art and coffee, art and wine, and you know, it's more of a hobby, looking at the hobby side. But my idea was to set up something where people will learn art seriously and help people to make their career in the field of art. So that's how the whole idea came. And I started my business in 2016. Uh, why, why in UAE? UAE is, I'm here for the last 17 years oh, as a professional uh -huh. and then I shifted and I thought this is one of the best places in the world to start business. Yes. It's a country of dream, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's a land of opportunity and here because of the conducive business atmosphere, because of the vision of the uh, rulers of UAE, mm -hmm. they really help and encourage people to start something of their own and to contribute to the society. And I thought there cannot be any better place to start your business rather than in you. Yes, yes. Okay, what is the difficulty do you have as a businesswoman in this field? Uh, I must say that I'm very lucky. Uh, though in all business there will be ups and downs, you know, and as I said uh, 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 sometime earlier that I'm not exactly from the art field, it's my passion. I was more into journalism, which is a different area. So when you start something, which is more of passion driven and not uh, your core competence, there are certain difficulties you come because you don't know the people in this area, you don't know too many artists, you don't yes. know how to go about it and I was always a professional throughout my life. So obviously when you start something new as an entrepreneur, it's the journey is not very easy, finance is an issue. Uh, to get to know to people, to reach to people is also sometimes it's a little challenging because you don't know which is the best way to do it. What is the best way to do it? What sort of a courses you need to offer? How do you go about it? So these are the teething problems we had. But so for the um, licensing, registrations, banking, the other things which are yes. the legal issues, I had never any problem with, uh, with uh, this government and the place here. Uh, it was always, always a very smooth journey so far. The government regulations, the licensing, the people concerned, even the Dubai culture and all the people, they're, they're always very helpful whenever we go with any uh, proposition, with new ideas, they're always there. But having said that, there is always a challenge in any business, you know, you will see sometimes it's a little down, sometimes you see that the things are not going in the right direction, but that's, that's the learning you learn, you know, you learn from that, you know, there will always be ups and downs and um, uh, a little difficulty on, in the journey, so that's there. Okay, uh, please tell me about your company. So as I, uh, I mean, we started with the very basic idea of making uh, portfolios for college admission. 
but we realized that that cannot be a standard in business model. So we thought, why not teach serious art yes. to people? You know, I mean, it, we start from the age group of five, and we go till there is no age barrier to the upper upper mm -hmm. age group, and we teach all sorts of art. You know, if you can think of art, you think of palette. You know, so whether it's a clay modeling, whether it's photography, whether it's uh, all f f types of art we sure. do teach. So that is one of the biggest part of our business. We do commission art as well for hospitalities, for corporates, for individuals who wants to decorate their house or make something. So we do that as well. Mm -hmm. And we also have our another um, vertical as um, promoting artists of local artists as well as international artists. So I have an online gallery as well as online. Yeah, yeah, I have an online gallery, a small gallery though, and we do a lot of exhibitions. We do take part in Wanda Dubai. We do we have our own palette exhibitions every year. So that's how we sort of give uh, you know platform to other emerging artists of mm -hmm. the world. And the fourth vertical that we do, which is um, helping, uh, I mean, to go to the corporates and for team building and also art lot of corporates you know especially after the post covid you know they realize that our art is really a stress relief mm -hmm. and, and it's more work as a therapy so you know we do a lot of sessions with corporates with big corporates with banks and to to uh, set up the you know to help them having a relaxing session with their HR team or other team making a team building so there are uh, four verticals, one is a training vertical, one is a gallery and exhibition vertical, one is a commission art vertical, another is a workshop and with working with the corporate for art therapy, relaxation, team building. Sure. And your location and how to contact you? My location is, uh, we, are, we are very centrally located in Dubai, you know, we are in the middle of Dubai. Uh, which is well connected to the new Dubai and as well as the old Dubai, what you can say. So we are near the Mall of the Emirates and uh, it is connected to uh, Mall of the Emirates as a, a metro station. So it's just five minutes walk from the metro station. Otherwise also there are buses, taxis and I mean it's a very, very well connected place, you know. So now, right now we have only one branch uh, that is this uh, Al Barsha one branch but we aspire to have more branches and if you want to get in touch with us we have our landline number we have the other phone numbers as well uh, we are into four or five social media we have instagram we have facebook we have twitter we have linkedin and we have youtube from where you will get all the information of us and we have a very robust um, website mm -hmm. which is from the day one and where you will get all informations how to connect what do we teach what are our activities what are our services mm -hmm. and also the recommendations and feedback from clients as you see the website the social website in the middle of the screen what's the future plan? the future is something I really dream of of a bigger bigger uh, way of uh, growing up with ballet. Sure. So um, right now it, it is not a certified program but my dream is to set up a certified diploma academy so for artists concerned because as we have failed this the whole of GCC what lacks is art education. In UAE we are still very advanced you know in the sense like the, again the vision of the rulers mm -hmm. and their outlook, their uh, you know, future ideas has helped us and made art as a very thriving business in this part of the world. Not only art selling and buying but also art as an education. But if you look at a bigger gulf, like if you talk about Oman, if you talk about uh, Bari, if you talk about uh, Kuwait, Qatar, um, Saudi, there is not so many of art learning facilities in this part of the world. So what I feel is that there is a need gap that we need to set up art more as a complementary part to uh, physics, chemistry, maths or regular branch of academics, you know. We, we, we heard that few years back the concept of STEM has changed into STEM where they have put art into in the middle of all physics, chemistry, maths and science and 
people all over the world have realized that how art is important and how art helps with the mental health to creativity to also you know bigger thinking greater thinking yes, yes. and so it's not only maths and science it's also creativity that makes a person cool so the whole idea over the years and um, to set up uh, branches across GCC if I can do that and that's my dream to uh, please give a message for you, the president and governments. I cannot say more word of gratitude for the UAE government and, and our uh, beloved, respected and visionary uh, president, uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed. You know, I mean, there, there are very few places in the world where you can see a person who actually sees the future. And, and he has seen it and uh, I have been into this place for the last 17 years and it has become my home. It has fulfilled my biggest dream mm -hmm. under the sun and, and I think that that's because he, he thinks about every people who comes to this country and he makes them feel at home and uh, so I think that is very very important if you look at the bigger perspective of this uh, country and the rulers of uh, UAE as a whole, their uh, regulations, their smooth of doing business, the way they attract people, the way they explain to people, the ease with the government organizations, their friendliness, uh, their uh, eagerness to improve and also overall their encouragement to start something and to contribute to the society is amazing and I yes. think that's what keeps on going, uh, who are rather small in the big picture of the world, but who feels comfortable and feels like, uh, who has a very fulfilling experience and thanks once again for the visionary. Firstly, thank you for this amazing interview and nice to meet you. Thank you thank very you. much and thank you for the team and ABC Gulf to consider أعزائي المشاهدين إلى هنا نختم حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع تذرون يوم الجمعة والسبت على قناتكم ABC العربية والسوشيال ميديا دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله